Hi, this is Dave. Um, I'm doing a review of the JB200C from Carvin. It's the Jason Becker tribute model uh, based on his 19, I think it was 1989 original DC200. Um, it's a pretty awesome instrument. When you order it from Carvin, it automatically comes with a lot of options that somebody that plays um, uh, what I would call progressive guitar would want. Um, it's got an original Floyd Rose. This isn't a licensed or anything, it's just it's an original Floyd Rose, so I'm assuming that's what it means. It's a real Floyd. It's got active M22 pickups and passive and with coil splitting features. It has a 25 inch um, scale length neck with a thinner profile than Carbon usually offers. So for the JB model, you get a thinner neck profile, which is better for um, faster playing or shred as some people call it. Um, it comes with a flame maple fingerboard, um, matching headstock cover that matches the top wood which is uh, flame maple. It comes with spurzel locking tuners as well as a locking nut so I don't think the strings are going out of tune anytime soon. Uh, the neck is maple, the body is alder, um, but it does have a one-piece maple neck going all the way through it makes the sustain just awesome and the heel joint feels great when you're playing up high on the neck there's the battery cover for um, the active electronics and I understand there's a some kind of switch or a control back here in the cavity to adjust the gain for the active circuitry so right now according to the documentation it's just above zero so it's pretty close to the original pickup output um, but it goes up to six, I believe. So if you really wanted to get a boost when you kick in that active circuit, I guess you could, but I like it where it's at. Um, sorry, it's a coffee maker. There's a lot of knobs and switches on this bad boy. Uh, you've got a push-pull volume knob, which kicks in the active circuitry. Um, you've got a standard tone knob, a standard three-way pickup selector, but these knobs are only for the, when it's in active mode. This is a bass cut and boost. And it's notched in the middle so you can feel where zero is. So it's really easy to get back to zero really quickly. Same with this. This is a um, treble boost and cut with a notched in the middle position. Uh, this switch here is the coil tap. In the down position, it's single coil for the um, neck pickup. Same with this one, this is for the bridge pickup. And this is a phase switch. It puts the pickups out of phase and it gets kind of a vintagey tone, which is kind of cool. Just a, there's a lot of tonal options on this guitar and I was a little worried at first when I got, it's my first guitar with active electronics and um, I was blown away with how versatile this thing sounds. Um, especially on cleans, you can, you can change your clean tone without even touching the amp basically. It's really cool. Again, a lot of options come with this right out of the gate. I'm going to look at this list because there's a lot of them. Uh, the neck is tongue oiled finished. Feels really awesome. It's really satiny, but it even feels like your hands are actually on the wood. It's really cool. And then it's got, I mentioned the flame maple headstock that matches the body. Um, pointed angled inline headstock. Uh, abalone dot inlays. It comes with um, medium jumbo uh, nickel frets. I opted for the stainless steel jumbo frets just because I tend to go through frets very quickly on my other, my former number one guitar. This is my new number one. I kind of tear tore through the frets a little bit, so I got the stainless steel ones, and I haven't noticed any tonal differences. The only thing I did notice is it feels like the strings have less resistance when bending. Um, comes with black hardware standard. If you want specifics on the pickups, it's the M22 SD bridge and the N22 V in the neck. Um, large white carbon logo. It did come with a couple Dunlop strap locks. They're in the case. I don't really use them right now. And the case is extra. You can get a black Tolex case or a tweed case. I. Uh, Got the black case, but I've seen online people ordering these and getting the tweed case, and it matches pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look so vintagey that it 
it's misplaced. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, my impressions of this, the build quality is awesome. I'm used to Hamer guitars, Hamer USA, and the build quality is impeccable there. And when I got this, it was just beautiful right out of the case. It was in tune. It was set up great. Um, the only thing I did was I changed the gauge of the strings that came with 10s on it. You can even specify what gauge you want them to set it up for. came with 10s. I set this up for 9.5s. Um, just because I'm used to the 25 and a half inch scale length on my other guitars, this is a 25 inch and I, I thought 9.5 would be a good mix of tension versus playability. Um, the tone, again, the elect due to the electronics, it goes very clean to super distortion, uh, depending on your amp you're using, very well. It's very, I'm, again, I'm really surprised with how versatile this guitar is tonally. Um, the cleans are sparkling clean, especially with the active plugged in. It's and then I'll I'll try to show you a little bit later, but don't expect this to sound like Jason Becker. <laughs> um, features again, it came with a lot of stuff right out of the gate that w I wanted on it. I only changed three things: again, the frets, and I did Carvin's deep triple stain finish, where they kind of they do a process where it makes the flame pop a little bit more. It does darken the color a little bit, but I think the flame popping on it the way it does on this top is worth it. Um, it's It wasn't an expensive option. In fact, I think Carbon right now has, when you order one of these guitars, they give you $100 towards options, and then every other option you get is a half off. So it didn't change the price much. The other option I did was a 14-inch fretboard radius. Makes a little bit flatter, which I, feel I like better for bending and some of the scalar and arpeggio stuff um, but again that's a preference I think Carvin offers 10 inch 12 inch and a 14 inch 12 inch is what comes um, standard when you order it um, that said I, I can't say enough about how cool this thing is um, it's the best guitar I've ever played with the exception of Jason's original um, and I highly recommend you order one of these there's also a JB 200 SC that's offered which foregoes the maple top on both the body and then headstock and it comes with a um, I guess what do you call it opaque um, finish by default you can also change those it's one thing about Carvin is even though it's a Jason Becker tribute guitar they're not really um, strict on the options you can add or change on it I've seen people with walnut body and no finish on the top and just tongue oil flame and some really cool options on this the JB 200 SC is about 200 bucks cheaper with all the same features with the exception of the flame maple top a lot of Jason's fans are gonna want this finish the sapphire blue because it does it's a pretty iconic guitar especially for people that are really familiar with his playing um, so again I highly recommend it it's one of the best guitars I ever played if you're wondering what this smudge is I actually had the opportunity for Jason to fingerprint it and his dad wrote his name so that's not a factory flaw Anyway, thanks a lot, and I, I'll play a little bit and try to put little captions to say what I'm using and which pickup configuration. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.